Here's a conversation I want to have with you on this Wisdom Wednesday. What version of you are you, you, afraid to be? I know that sounds a little ridiculous until you think about the ways that you skip a doctor's appointment or add another cheat day to your week or don't exercise or skip a meeting or a program that you said you were going to go to because you know it benefits you. And then all of a sudden you get too busy doing stuff for other people. There is a version of you in you that we can be afraid of sometimes, afraid of, well, what am I going to be like when I get there? You know, will my friends remain the same? Will my circumstances remain the same? No, that's why you're busy working on this new you. You don't want things to be the same. You want them to feel comfortable. And if comfort comforted you, you'd stay where you are. You wouldn't be dreaming of this other version of you. But there's a reason that you can sometimes think, ooh, and that's the anticipation of being more, you know. Sometimes I, 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 we have to remember we got on this ride on purpose. It's just like a roller coaster. And if you know you're buckled in, if you know you got you covered, if you know that you're pulling the tools to you that you need, there comes a point where you just have to ride the ride. You know, there comes a point where you just have to know you're strapped in, throw your hands up and scream because there is a version of you that you're afraid to be. And the only reason you're afraid of that version of you is because you've never been that version of you before. So go quietly, strongly, loudly into that good night and figure it out step by step. Figure it out by sitting in that class, by auditing it, by by reading that book and not just getting it and putting it on the shelf. Do the work to become the version of you that you think you're afraid of. You're not afraid of him. You're not afraid of her. They're just unfamiliar to you. And you know, mama told you not to talk to strangers. And maybe you're afraid of that stranger you that you haven't gotten to know yet. And you get to know you when you read the book and realize that your ideas aren't as foreign, aren't as crazy, aren't as out of reach as you thought they were. You get to realize, that, realize, fully realize that version of you by realizing that if I walk, if I pull away from the table, if I do a little bit more to take care of me. I see it in my waist. I see it in my skin. I see it in the ways I show up. You're not afraid of that version of you. You're uh, unfamiliar with him. You're unfamiliar with her. So do the work day by day to get to know him, to get to know her, to fold them into your daily life and to pull out the books you bought but haven't read yet, to go to the classes that you keep, the events you keep liking on Facebook, but then never get to. Do the stuff that you say you need in order to be more you and more you will show up. Ask me how I know. Peace. Wisdom Wednesdays. I think I'm going to keep doing this.